risk is the price that you pay for the opportunities namaskaram this is kapil from ehs academy and welcome to another informative video guys in today's video we are going to discuss about if you hold any sort of csp asp or any sort of bcsp qualification then how much you can earn within the us market okay so basically bcsp have conducted one survey in 2020 by the use uh, by the collaboration with one international organization so we we are going to look at the results that how much you can earn by considering different factors so in today's video we are going to consider around 11 factors that is mentioned in bcsp website okay so after this video you will be having an estimate how much you can earn after holding a certain bcsp qualification or multiple bcsp qualification okay so without wasting any single second let's get straight to the video okay fine guys first of all what you need to do is you need to come on to the google okay after coming on to the google you will be having the interface like that just type b c s n p after typing bcsp just search that okay uh, after that you will be having such sort of interface uh, you need to click on first one board of certified safety professionals when you click on that you will get the interface like that okay now what you need to do is second option that is your resources what is that resources you need to click on resources okay after clicking on the resources the interface will be like that okay just come to the salary safety salary survey last fourth okay click on that safety salary survey fine after clicking on that you will be again having the interface in such sort of way and uh, when you will scroll that you will be uh, written here the 2020 shhe industry salary survey and calculated it means you need to manually put your like post how much experience you have everything you need to manually put and after that it will give you the results that how much you can earn okay so just scroll that uh, this will give you some information you need to just what you need to do you need to accept that okay after accepting that you will get the interface like that okay here they have written that 2020 shhe industry salary calculator okay so three major sections is there first of all salary calculator second is definitions and third is about but before calculating any sort of salary of any bcsp certification holder just go to the second one that is called definitions because lot of things are there that you may find difficult to understand in that calculator so first of all make the things clear then only go to the calculator second option definitions see all the important things like composition basis base salary in us dollars as well as other composition in us dollars everything is given just uh, take uh, one or two minutes to read that so it will be easy for you to grab each and everything in the calculator okay once you have read that all the things just come to the first option that is salary calculator okay now guys one thing i told you here in this interface that we are going to calculate around 11 factor it means you need to go through 11 factors you need to select 11 factors after that only you will be eligible you will be able to get your results okay so here you can see in this side last side okay uh, certifications held geographic location gender education these are the that 11 factors so let's discuss let's select them one by one so we can get our results okay so first of all i will go to this sections certifications held it means what type of qualification that you are holding it means as you know that csp is there acp is there sms is there chst ohst then how many certifications you have for example just for example i am not holding any sort of bcsp qualification for example i will take two qualifications first qualification is asp and second i will take our csp okay two qualifications for example for instance i have taken here okay after clicking on that just go to the second option that is called geographic location now under geographic location within the us in which like state you are working for example here i will select texas okay just let's uh, let me search out where is texas yeah here it is texas now guys one thing you need to keep in mind that uh, don't go very narrow it means one one thing only you are selecting when you go more narrow means you will not be able to get awesome results okay you need to be a little bit wide so i have selected my location texas fine so just a minute okay so now afterwards what you need to do is you need to select the gender for example uh, i have selected here the male okay after that education it means what type of education you have apart from the certifications for example here i have a bachelor degree in fire and safety so i will select that after that hashtag of certifications held it means how many certifications you are holding apart from them okay so for example for my instance i have uh, two certifications so i have selected two after that shhe industry tenure it means how much experience do you have in this industry safety industry uh, for example for mine case uh, less than 5 years 
uh, after that nature of the organization it means uh, in which organization you are working what is the nature of that so in our case it is privately owned a hashtag of employees in the organization it means how many employees are working within your organization for example here i have 100 to 1000 in between of that job title it means uh, what is your designation because it is one of the important factor okay for example i am a professional in this okay hashtag of sse staff supervised it means under your area under your supervision how many workers are working okay so in my case more than 10 okay in the last factor primary industry it means uh, what is your nature of the industry for example mine is construction so after selecting all these factors you will get this sort of thing see most of the times you will be getting this size of thing one red letter is there no in this selection uh, there were not enough cases including for statistically meaningful tabulations of one or more measures please revisit your selection and include more cases by checking more boxes and include all now most of the times you will get this type of error now what is the meaning is as i told you initially don't go very narrow when you go more narrow means you will be having the interface like that now what you need to do in this case is you need to just modify these options whatever you have given here this side you need to just modify that for example here i will do include all okay uh, after that what i will do is include all so after doing that no Uh, you will get some sort of like results because most of the times they are uh, giving this sort of error okay fine guys uh, here you need to do a lot of variations to get some results like uh, now i am doing some modification just see that how it will change okay i have selected here nature of the organization include all and here also include all so here now you can see there the results have already changes here you can see here let me zoom for you see base salary is your 10 percentile people earn less than 70500 dollars it means uh, see first of all 10 percentile 25 percentile 50 percentile 75 percentile 90 percentile it means whatever the survey they have conducted out of that that much people like 10 percentile people less than 10 percentile people are earning less than 70500 dollars okay so this is the meaning of that uh, first of all base salary it means apart from the incentives compensation apart from normal everything overtime and all what is the main salary that you are getting getting base salary so base salary will be highlighted there afterwards whatever the compensation are there they will mention here like you can see here in the third column starting to there are 0 dollars and here you can see the compensation that they are getting incentive overtime work all the things okay so this is the meaning of that this is the meaning of that calculator so just you need to make sure that don't go very narrow because when you go more narrow means it will give you problem okay and you will not be having uh, sufficient results just go a little bit wide select include all sometimes okay so after getting that you will be having the interface like that and you can understand how much expected salary that you can get within the us market okay guys so this about the full analysis of this topic i hope you understand this calculator i hope you understood how to use that properly okay so till now if you have any sort of query with regards to these certifications and with regards to this salary survey you can comment me because this one is the latest because on uh, 1st january 2020 only they have conducted this particular uh, survey okay by independent organization which is doing this sort of survey and they have taken a lot of professionals those those who are currently practicing in this field okay not the retired one those who are currently practicing and by very comprehensive research they have developed this particular survey so uh, you will get good results if you utilize that so guys this was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the video you got something uh, if you like this video press the like button as well as subscribe this channel because there only one second it took to subscribe this channel okay and i'll meet you in the next video then take care